Hey guys, Indian video game collector or Xbox 360 pattern over here. And today we are going to talk about uh, PS3 backwards compatibility uh, since PS5 is on the horizon and uh, Xbox has uh, spoken about smart delivery. So I thought uh, let's let's talk about backwards compatibility in general. What backwards compatibility is? Uh, what are the backward compatible consoles? Um, at least the newer ones and then uh, we'll talk about uh, the very less spoken of uh, backwards compatibility that PS3 has. So I think you guys would already be aware that the initial models of PS3 were backwards compatible with uh, PS2 games so they had hardware to basically uh, you know play PS2 games uh, in the cons from the console itself and that was pretty neat if you ask me but that did push up the hardware costs and because of that this feature was removed in the uh, later models and i'm not sure if that actually contributed to uh, less rates of ILOD or not but uh, definitely so we know that okay certain ps2 games were supported on ps3 but even before this let's talk about other consoles that were backwards compatible so um, let's let's talk about the Wii. So we know that the Wii could play uh, uh, these GameCube games. So you just needed another, you needed a GameCube remote uh, or a gamepad as well as the memory cards. But you could pretty much play all the GameCube games on Wii, um, like a lot of games at least. And then came the Wii U, which could actually play the Wii library pretty much uh, without any additional support. So that's about Wii U. But in um, general terms, we've always been talking about Xbox and PlayStation backwards compatibility. So we know that, okay, PS3 does not support PS2 games anymore, the latest iterations. And as a matter of fact, uh, in case you guys didn't know, uh, so Xbox 360 actually contained backwards compatibility for a few of the original Xbox games. And the way that they worked was, uh, you needed to have an original um, Xbox 360 hard drive and on that there was a HDDX partition which uh, which used to host some emulation files and the emulators to basically emute Xbox executable environment or the XBE environment on the uh, 360 and that's how you could play uh, some of these original Xbox games on the uh, on the 360 uh, provided you have the same region disk so cross-regional games were not supported back then and uh, additionally uh, uh, most of these games are also available online on xbox marketplace and that's how they run then came the xbox one which supported uh, yeah so which supported uh, backwards compatibility of xbox 360 games as well as certain xbox titles og xbox titles and the beauty of this backwards compatibility was that the region wouldn't matter so ninja gaiden is i'm not sure if, if this is supported in xbox one uh, backwards compatibility i don't think so as ninja gaiden black is already there but if it were supported i could play both uh, with my pal copy and with my uh, us copy the reason being um, the disk is just used to start up you actually download the entire uh, data you know um, xbox one compatible manner from the from xbl live uh, from xbox live and that's about it so you, the disc is just there to boot the game so i think we have talked about a lot of backwards compatibility where we have covered the entire uh, uh what do you say you know xbox family we have covered uh, whatever at least i knew of nintendo family and I'm, I'm very sure there are other consoles the other consoles handhelds like uh you know you can talk about game boy advance and 3ds 2ds etc the entire library but um, i'm not focusing on those or the atari or the famicom i'm just focusing on the current gen uh, consoles which are cd based so coming back to ps3 uh, so as we have already established, PS2 games are backwards compatible on PS3 only in certain consoles. But there's one more compatibility or rather one more console uh, which was a predecessor to PS2 which was a PS1 that <coughs> we generally don't talk about. So today I'm going to talk about uh, PS1 backwards compatibility on the PS3. 
So yes, PlayStation 1 is backwards compatible on PS3. So I'm not sure how many of you have tried this out, but definitely that works. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. So over to my gaming desk and we'll continue the video over there. So here I have turned on my PS3 and I'm going to try out with the NTSC game first which is one uh, for the US territory and since my PS3 is bought in India it's a PAL PS3 I'm very sure this game is not going to run on the system because of territory issues so let's try to push the game in so first let's see if there's some disk inside nope we'll try to slide in the disk and there it goes now let's see if this is actually being supported by my PS3. So here we can see it says the software cannot be started due to region restrictions. Uh, okay, let's go back. And here it clearly says it's a PlayStation format disk, so that format is being recognized, which is fine. Let's eject the disk out. Keep it over here. Let's try out a different game. So next, let's try out Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, this is a pile copy. So let us push this in. Uh, let's see if this gets recognized. So again, says PlayStation format disk and it has started loading. So let's see what it looks like. So there is the famous PS logo. So that means the game has booted well. And there are certain steps that you'll have to do before uh, the backwards compatibility is activated. And I'll cover those in a while challenge everything so yeah the game takes an eternity to load the reason why I'm showing you this game initially is because it has a huge cutscene at the beginning uh, thankfully I am past that so I'll just show the gameplay of this game for maybe half a minute and then we'll get into uh, the details of the emulation or rather what needs to be done what happens when you insert a ps1 disc for the first time in a ps3 so it says it's checking memory card there is a memory card emulation uh, so there's a memory card that you have to create it says that i've completed the game six percent within 30 minutes which is odd but okay Let's get in. So, I really love the PlayStation graphics. I mean, they're a little wonky on the LED, but nothing like old school. Okay, auto save load, yes. Fine, continue. not sure why it wants to check the memory card again but big deal while looking around harry bumped into a shy Ginny weasley and her pet puffs game later after using wingardium leviosa to break up arthur weasley's non-magical junk harry found the hidden d -loom. so i'll just uh Try to play with a hand while I'm filming with the other and then we'll look at the other games. Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. So look at the Mama graphics guys. It looks... To fling a nod, really, really you're going to need a good run up. Hit the square button good. as quick and as yeah, you can I think to I was... build up speed. Once you reach the fence, you begin spinning on the spot. 
Press the triangle button when you're ready to throw the nun. You get points for distance and reaching the targets. So, let's try this out. I should send it somewhere, but I have to throw it on the other side of the fence. We'll try it out again. Don't worry, but I'll get that one, Harry. <laughs> okay, let's try this out again. Again on the wrong side. But yeah, you, you got the point, right? What the game looks like. And now, when we have to quit, we can... Again, Harry. Yeah, so we have an option to either quit the game, assign slots on the memory card, uh, controller settings or the settings reset. So we can reset the game just like the PS1 or we can just quit the game and we'll get back to the XMB. Yes. Okay. So now what I'm, I'll do is I'll just delete the memory card and I'll show you what the entire process looks like when you do it for the first time. So under game we have this memory card utility. Uh, which is where all the emulated memory cards are stored I believe so here it shows that okay there's an inter internal memory card I'll just try to see if I can actually delete this so there's an option to assign slots slot 1 or slot 2 on the PS1 or delete it or find more information so I'll try to delete this I will be losing the progress on all these games that I tried the other day I'm an air attack I'm in 3D Harry Potter and USC which is fine, not a big deal. I haven't made much progress either way, so we'll try to delete the memory card. So are you sure? Yes. Okay, delete completed. So I don't have any memory card, soft memory card. Uh, what we'll do is we'll try to check the compatibility with a different game this time so we legit Harry Potter place it back nicely in its place sweet place and we'll take a different game this time so this time around I think we'll take Earthworm Gem 2 a pile copy and let's see how this runs I, I wish I'm, I'll not be able to play this game with one hand um, not that good a gamer either which ways but i just want to show you what happens when we insert a ps1 disc in a ps3 for the first time uh what are the steps that we have to do for the backwards compatibility to run so here i have inserted the game disc and we'll take a look at the playstation menu now i'm in the xmb so here it recognizes it as a playstation format disc and it says to save data so here it said that okay it doesn't it's unable to figure out which cd it was but then it says to save data you must create an internal memory on the system storage do you want to create it now yes and then it says it again asks you to confirm do you want to create a memory card yes so now uh, you can see here is giving me an option to create an internal memory card i'll say yes and I'll say I need a PS2 memory card, fine. You can name it whatever. We'll just go ahead with the default internal memory card. And we'll press on OK. So now it says memory card was assigned to slot 1. Uh, to change the slot you can change the assignment which is fine. And now that the card is created, we'll try to kickstart the playstation disc ps1 disc and we have the ps logo again i kind of like this logo i mean it reminds me of the time that i used to emulate these games on cvgs uh, back in 2001-2002 so okay unauthorized reproduction blah 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 okay so this time thankfully we are not um, you know we are doing a legitimate emulation that's a legit disc that we have yeah. 
anything but tangerines okay whatever that means so yeah here's the game so as you can see i always try to utilize the analog sticks which are not even available on the ps1 so yeah so you can move gym here and there and then you can shoot you can jump so there are various activities that you can do which i obviously won't be able to do with one hand but yeah in in crux this is what the ps ps1 emul emulation on ps3 was all about or ps1 backwards compatibility on ps3 um, so the problem is whenever we talk about backwards compatibility on ps3 we always talk about hey ps3 used to run ps2 games on the fat model there were these two or three different models it used to support the ps2 backwards compatibility but nowhere or generally in general people never talk about ps1 backwards compatibility and i thought uh, everybody needs to be aware of this everybody uh, should have this information just in case they have some ps1 discs lying around and here's hoping that uh, with the ps5 reveal uh, it would be supporting the ps1 and uh, ps2 games as well let's see we'll get to know soon it would be great if they can support it just like xbox one does as of now i'm okay to download from the internet and have the disc uh, be there to check for uh, licensing i'm fine with that so that's all that i had for today friends uh, do let me know if you like this video uh, do share it with your friends uh, you know sharing is caring and definitely we should share the knowledge as well as if you haven't subscribed please subscribe my channel and if you like the video don't forget to like the video <laughs> i mean uh, by pressing the like button Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are watching Xbox History Pattern or Indian Video Game Collector. I'm signing off for now.